everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of the Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank y'all in advance. But, you know, I hate to say this, but it does happen every year. It's like clockwork. It's inevitable. But, unfortunately... The end of summer is in sight. The end is nigh. The end of summer is right around the corner. It's near. Well, I don't want to think about it because summer's my favorite season. And, you know, a lot of good things usually happen in the summer. And there's a lot of good beers, too. Well, there's good beers year-round, but there's always good beers in the summer. But, you know, I think the beer we're going to be tasting on this episode is a good transition beer for the end of summer. And it's a good foreshadowing beer of what we can expect from the fall harvest season. So, let me grab the bottle. I'll shut up. But the beer is from Sierra Nevada Brewing. And this is their flip side. The flip side. So, this brew... This is a red IPA. So that's what I said, good transition beer. We might have some, you know, some IPA overtones to keep the summer afloat here, but then it's a red. So it's foreshadowing the fall harvest season. So it's kind of cool. So red IPA, this beer clocks in at 6.2% ABV and it's got an IBU of 55. And it's made with five different types of hops. And those hops are Bravo, Centennial, Eureka, Idaho 7, and Simcoe. So, without further ado, let's uh, crack the top on this, uh, you know, transitional beer and a seasonal transitional beer, and uh, let's get the fun started. Here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, I might need this. One, two, three. Do, re, mi. Zero smoke out of the bottle on that one. Zero smoke. Ding, ding. Let's get a nice little pour. That should do it. And what, well, look at that color. First and foremost, oh, we got a one finger veil of slightly off white. There is a copper hue, slight copper hue to the uh, carbonation. But look at that color. That is a red. That's a fall harvest color beer right there. But, um, yeah, so we're getting, there's the red, there's the foreshadowing aspect into the fall harvest season. But let's give this a swirl and let's give this a nose. And uh, it's, it is an IPA, so let's see if we get some aromas of summer. Here we go. Hmm, there's one more swirl here. It's a really thick head of foam on this too. I mean, really, really thick. Well, <clears throat> you know, What's interesting enough is we are getting uh, a lot of aromas of there is a caramel sweetness coming through. It's malty, like a toasted malt coming through. But there is there is some slight citrus. There is some slight orange going on. And give me one more nose here. Yeah, maybe some slight raspberry as well. Um, I'm going to give this one more nose. Let's give it one more. Yeah, that's all I'm getting here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That'll do it for the aromas. But uh, one more swirl, and, uh, well, let's uh, give this uh, brouhaha. Let's give this a sippy sip. Here we go. Prost. I'm going to prost to the autumn season that's coming, even though, like I said, I don't want to think about it, but it's on its way. So, prost. Here we go. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Wow, this is an interesting beer. Um, this is borderline light to medium. I would, you know, a beer like this, you're thinking medium body, but it's not. This is, you know, the needles twitching back and forth, light to medium. But uh, let me get this one more sip, and we'll get going on that flavor profile. Well, what are we getting? Well, first and foremost, there is a toffee sweetness coming through. And we're also getting a little burnt caramel. And... It's rounded out. There are some doughy notes. And, you know, there's just some slight citrus kind of poking its head through. Uh, I said a little bit of that orange peel. And almost like... Uh, 
a candied raspberry, a slight, slight candied raspberry, like a sweeter raspberry coming through. Let me get this one more sip here. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting beer, and I gotta admit, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of like, it is kind of like the ruby red flash to the end of summer, because, like I said, there, I, you know, there is some of that citrus coming through, which makes me think of summer. I wish that it had a little bit more going on with the citrus notes, but uh, what would I give this on the pint -to meter I'm going to give this one, because it is a little unique, I'm going to give this one, I'll give this one a solid seven. Uh, yeah, solid seven with that. Um, you know, it needs a little bit of tweaking. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I really wish a lot of uh, more of that citrus was on the uh, on the nose and on the flavor palette uh, because it's. I think it's doing really really well on the, uh, you know, the fall harvest type of beers. I mean, we're getting some of that uh, toffee sweetness, some of that burnt caramel, some of those doughy notes, those malty notes are coming through. I just wish to kind of keep it towards the summer side, I wish more of that citrus was coming through. Um, you know, like I said, the orange or the the, the, the fruit and things like that. But um, I do think it's a really easy drinking beer. This would, would be a good beer on a hot summer day or a cool autumn evening. And with that being said, I'm gonna stick to my rating on that and I'm gonna give this one more sip. And I'm going to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubshaveapintin.com, or at the blog, which is www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode. So as always, raise a pint, cheers, prost, and enjoy!